All right. Happy to be back um, with Harish to discuss another one of our centering skills. This one we call breathing mindfully. Um, breathing mindfully starts with that question, uh, that moment of inquiry. And we want to really ground this in, in a body sensation. So the question for you is, uh, what is this sensation in my body as I breathe? And we define breathing mindfully as taking slow, conscious, full breaths that we ourselves control. Um, Harish, when I use the term breathing mindfully, any initial reactions to that term? Yeah, I mean, I, I think that uh, breathing mindfully is definitely, it seems like a great tool for sort of recentering when uh, maybe you sort of lose control of uh, your reaction for certain situations. Um, and I, it seems like it's something that can be really effective um, as we're sort of dealing with our day-to-day -day stresses that, um, and just the general unpredictability that, that life can sort of throw at us. Great. Well, uh, if it would be okay by you, and I invite anyone who's watching this video as well, um, to take this opportunity to do three to five uh, mindful breaths with me. One way that I like to coach this is to take one hand, put it on your chest, and one hand and put it on your belly. And I invite you to close your eyes. And if you're doing this at home, if you feel more comfortable, just a, a soft gaze in front of you. But the sensation I'd like you to think about is the breath entering through your nose, the rise of your belly hand, and then exhaling out. And we're simply going to take three to five breaths on our own, focusing on our body, letting go of any tension, noticing what we notice. One more final breath. And out. Well, thank you for that. Now, borrowing in another one of our skills, um, the noticing skill, what do you notice about yourself uh, now, Harish? I think I feel a lot more focused um, and I feel a lot calmer. Um, and also interestingly, I feel a lot more sort of in control I think, uh, you know, I feel less distracted. So I guess that can go hand in hand with the focus. Um, and then I think physically, I think I just, I feel my heart rate uh, has slowed a little bit. Um, and I think I've just become more aware of the immediate, <coughs> sorry, the immediate feelings that I'm, that I'm sort of experiencing. Great, yeah, so that's uh, that sort of dance between our centering skills, noticing ourself and breathing and how those play together. Um, you had mentioned about in the context of things. Um, so one thing I like to offer and, and make and remind people of is that breathing is a unique um, reality for us because it is both what we call autonomic and it's involuntary, meaning it's going on without us consciously thinking about it. And it's one of our skills um, that we can control. And sometimes in the midst of things, uh, our, our, our sympathetic systems, our stress systems are actually activated. We're tightening our breath, our cortisol levels are coming up um, because of the stressors that we have. Um, and sometimes that's a story we've written in our own minds. So uh, the, the to-dos of the day, what I'm not handling, the inbox, all those stressors are actually affecting us. And if we can take control of the breath, um, we can actually start to activate what we call our parasympathetic systems. So the systems that sort of take us back into balance. And so part of the centering skill is coming into that balance, into one's own center uh, and becoming more aware. And from that state, uh, instead of operating in that freeze, flight or fright, flight part of our body, uh, the hope is at least then we can, can access our prefrontal cortex and, and make a more informed or comprehensive decision about what to do next. Um, any other questions that you might have around that? Um, what sort of prevents folks from putting this into practice in their day-to-day -day life when it could be very useful? Right. It's almost so simple and automatic and everywhere that it, we know it cognitively, but we don't actually apply it. Um, and interestingly enough, some educators who uh, are now home realized and became aware they're not actually doing their own breathing practices because they're not inviting 
the children and students to do it. So it's um, a conscious effort that we need to place forward. Uh, my colleague, Christy, who's got a theater background, often talked about, uh, or the way she phrases it, is it preparing for an event or is the event itself of breathing what you're working on? So as a former athlete, um, I used to breathe in preparation for something or breathe in preparation for a presentation. Um, but what we're really doing is trying to invite a practice and a much more intimate and personal relationship uh, with taking conscious, mindful breaths. Uh, that was a great question. And as always, Harish, I do appreciate your time. And uh, thanks for coming on. Thanks, Brian. Appreciate it.